Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How are you today? Today is Saturday, June 4th, 2016, and it's time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. We do this every single day. I attempt to upload it every single day. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, let's do this. Uh, it's another pocket dump deconstruction. And I'm excited about it. Um, that right there that you see, that's going to fill my pockets today. But right now, I threw it all on my desk. I rearranged it. Put the big one at the end. Did all of those things <laughs> to make it look purdy. I took an Instagram picture, posted it. At Keith Kevin Ken on Instagram just about seven minutes ago. Turn my iPhone 6S Plus from photo to video, and now we're going to make love, not make love, <laughs> to the knives. We're going to have fun with the knives, okay? Um, the first thing today, did I tell you it's Saturday, June 4th, 2016? I know everyone's not going to be watching it on the same day. In fact... It's the weekend, so you know I always upload a little later on the weekend so I could use my Wi-Fi. Hey, June, what did I say it was? When did they say they were doing that? June 10th, we're going to settle all this, hopefully, knock wood, with the internet. and Everything will be easier and I can post a lot more. But anyway, on the weekends, I post them a little later so that I can watch Showtime and, <laughs> and HBO and all that on the internet. So this will be happening overnight, but I hope you guys enjoy it. This is the Saturday deconstruction. Um, watching my, I'm wearing, not watching, wearing my uh, Mont Blanc watch today. Uh, love the Mont Blanc uh, chronograph that I bought about 20 years ago. I bought everything when I was consulting. Um, I am celebrating a wonderful Saturday. Every Saturday is wonderful because I don't have to wake up with an alarm clock. Nope, don't. Don't have to work. Instead, I just lay around. <laughs> uh, I'm celebrating today with my boulevard. And of course, um, I always get a bigger, thicker one on Saturdays and Sundays. So that I can do a long smoke and just think about things and have a good time. Yep, I am loving my Shown pen. This is the Thai one. My Shown design pen. This is the titanium pen. I just love it. Built nice. So far, I've put all my work-related pens in a drawer. I have boxes of them, of course. And we'll see how, how long it takes before the people I work with call me out on it but anyway I really love this I love this one is about 1.8 ounces I just love the heft of it it feels like I'm something a man should have in his pocket I just really like it uh, my lucky coin for today is from the U.S. Mint it's President FDR's uh, uh, one ounce silver coin that I have in my pocket for good luck today Vodka. Yep, vodka. Someone asked me again, and I know some of you who have been following me for a while, you've heard all the stories, right, about why I have what I have. I know that we have gotten some new, thank you, some very new uh, subscribers. We're getting real close to that 500. I better start figuring out how to tape that because <laughs> we're going to reach it. And that's a great goal to reach. And thank all of you guys for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You just don't know how glad I am that we can talk every single morning about knives and man stuff and women stuff. Just the hobbies. I really love it. Anyway, um, I am doing vodka today. Uh, someone asked, why on the weekend do I still carry this? And the reason is, and I've told some of you, look, I have 500 knives, 
I have a bunch of movies. I have a bunch of first edition books. I have a bunch of cigars. I collect everything. Okay? That's a man that's got a collecting problem. <laughs> Fun collecting problem. So I always set up little barriers for myself. It's just a personal thing. As you get older, you'll do it too. I start with this. And when I'm done with that, if I still want some more booze, I bring out a nice glass and, and some good ice cubes and drink more booze. But this gives me a chance when I'm done with this to just pause a little bit and let it sink in while I'm smoking my cigar. That's why even on the weekend, I use it as just a, when you're done, you go, okay, Kev, you're done with that. Let's just settle and enjoy it for a little bit before we move on. Most of the time, I move on. Men do that. Grown-ups do that. <laughs> this is my Mont Blanc, one of my Mont Blanc thin wallets. And the word, which is basically a field guide. I tell you guys all the time. Uh, I, I found them on uh, uh, Amazon.com. I really love them. They're the same kind of quality as f field notes, not field guides. Field notes. But has a lot of different uh, kind of um, colors and stuff. Now let's talk about the knives. You know, it's a carbon fiber day. It really is. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the knife that got away because actually I started, rolled out the bed and, and grabbed the knife that got away. And that's because Spydeco just released their mid-year catalog online and I took a look at it. So we'll talk about that when we get to it. Obviously, I'm not carrying the knife that I grabbed, but that got me thinking about carbon fiber. Uh, this, of course, is the carbon fiber version of the Spydeco dog tag. Spydeco's collaboration with Serge Pachenko. Serge Pachenko has custom dog tags. You guys probably have seen my custom Serge Pachenko coin knife. It's a dog tag because it's the same exact dimensions as a dog tag. You can wear it around your neck as a neck knife. I use it as my keychain knife, which is just great. Carbon fiber on top of G10. Um, this is a tie backstop, which is really nice. So you don't get cut or anything when the blade is down. It is a slip joint knife. What I love about these tag knives and uh, Serge Pachenko and Spydeco collaborated on three of them. One carbon fiber, this one. One a blacked out version with aluminum and titanium. And, and the first one was a multicolored one, a, a uh, greenish blue and blue um, aluminum and titanium. They are slip joints, which means there is no locking mechanism. But you know what? Just stick part of your finger right there. It's the best lock for a little knife like this. Okay, for a lot of years, my grandfather and your fathers and stuff didn't have all these purdy locks that we use now. Um, so slip joints, it was just called a knife, right? You just had a strong kind of spring. But for this, this is really nice, especially for a knife this size. Just put your finger there. It's really nice. Does great cutting. You know why? They didn't skimp on the blade. It's a small blade, 1.2 inches 1.2 inches but it's s30 uh, v steel s30 v steel very good steel feels nice doesn't scare anyone and you know what this little thing gets a lot done in a pinch it helps me cut off the top of my cigar <laughs> cut off my fingernails do all kinds of stuff i really like it open up boxes this is the spydeco tag knife it is the carbon fiber dog tag knife, the collaboration with Serge Bachenko. I love that they didn't skimp on the materials and they did S30V steel. I really love that. My medium knife is the carbon fiber Chris Reeve small Sabenza 21. You guys know I love my Sabenzas. And man, this Sabenza 21, I really love. This is a knifeart.com exclusive. They work with Chris Reeve 
to put together a whole family of um, carbon fiber Chris Reeve knives. Carbon fiber, great quality carbon fiber on the show side. Still all tie on the lock side with that Chris Reeve integral lock. Of course, S35VN steel, this is one of the newer Chris Reeve knives and that's the steel he prefers right now. Um, what, 2.9 inches? But man, the fact that one slab, we take off one slab of full titanium, replace it with this space age carbon fiber material, and it lightens this thing up. It looks great with the blue accents, and it looks great with this wonderful, uh, unique bead on the lanyard. Exclusive, knifearts.com. They have the uh, Sabenza 25, they have the large 21, they have the small 21, they have a bunch of them in Damascus. They also have in single blades. Oh man, my favorite. I am not giving up my carbon fiber Chris Reeve knives. I'm not, I just love them. They're everything that you expect from Chris Reeve and super light too. And then the biggie, <laughs> my big one, man, it's funny. I finally responded to everyone's comments. I'm always two, three, four days late on the comments. I really, really thank you for your patience and really thank you for your comments. They really keep me going. You just, you guys don't know because every single day I love doing this because it forces me to go through my Pelican cases and come up and use my knives. And I love talking about them with like-minded people. So I appreciate it and I'm glad that you're out there. I know you're out there, but sometimes when you do it every day, you start going, eh, are they really watching? Uh, so thank you for all the comments. Thank you for correcting my mistakes, which are many. <laughs> this right here is the Spyderco Myrtle. It just came out 2016. You know, still not hearing a lot on YouTube and other people about the Myrtle. I love this thing. Man, Spyderco really did a great job in my opinion. This wonderful, talk about nice materials. Just really excellent. You know, sometimes I pull this away to double check something <laughs> because I'm looking through my iPhone um, screen instead of straight on. This is just wonderful. So it's the Myrtle. It has marble carbon fiber, the only marble carbon fiber that I know from Spydeco so far. Real carbon fiber too. Really nice. No G10 underneath. Great titanium bolsters. Look at that. Titanium bolsters has that wonderful carbon fiber that feels great. All tie on the back. They did a custom for this knife, a custom for this knife clip that really works. Look at the blade profile. It's almost like they were thinking about a leaf blade and then they went, uh-uh, give you that recurve with that belly and then almost a hawkbill tip. I'd call it a hawkbill tip. It really gives you a lot of cutting area man and also as a defensive weapon it's really nice s30v steel i just enjoy this knife it is fancy it's a big one too 3.7 inch blade so this isn't a small knife at all but it does have the characteristics of a gentleman's folder it really does nice back spacer with g10 back spacer it feels nice with that Chris Reeve integral lock as well from Spydeco. Ah, it's the Myrtle. It's all carbon fiber on this Saturday. That's it. It's the uh, Spydeco dog tag as the keychain knife. Chris Reeve and uh, knifeart.com exclusive with the carbon fiber small Sabenza 21 and the Myrtle. I love my Spyderco Myrtle. Look at that blade. Look at the shape of the blade. I love Hawkbill blades, 
but sometimes, and I have a bunch of them in, in my collection, but they're not that great as EDC. This, with that belly, that wonderful belly, and the hogbill is a wonderful EDC carry, and that's why I'm carrying it today. That is what I took a picture of and posted on Instagram, at Keith Kevin Ken. Remember, come follow the feed at Keith Kevin Ken. I post a bunch of pictures, minimum four pictures a day. Starts with my first cup of coffee, ends right before I go to bed. Um, it is a wonderful um, hobby for me, and I'd love to show you. You get a chance to see more of my collection because sometimes I take a lot of pictures that I'm playing with stuff on my desk that I don't carry. At Keith Kevin Ken, don't forget to thumb this up if you're enjoying what you're seeing and also don't forget to uh, subscribe. Once we hit 500, I'm opening up my most expensive Pelican case and we are super close, super close as I record this. That's what I posted on Instagram, but you know something? This ain't Instagram, and this is the knife that started all. <laughs> it really is. It's the Peter Carey collaboration with Spydeco. It's the Rubicon. Everyone couldn't wait for the Rubicon, and then when it came out, everyone was saying, it's too expensive, the steel isn't good enough, whatever. I love me some Rubicon. Spydeco, talk about not skimping. 3D, 3D molded carbon fiber. It's just, it's some of the best carbon fiber. It feels nice. It's nice and shiny. It's great. All tie liners. It has this orange G10 textured backspace. A custom for this knife clip. Just wonderful. Look at the pivot. Usually Spydeco doesn't go fancy on the pivots, but this is a Peter Carey pivot, a custom pivot for this knife with that orange G10 around it. Oh man. Look at the blade shape. That's a Peter Carey blade shape as well. S30V steel, right? Yep, S30V steel. A lot of people upset that for a knife that costs this much, that it was only S30V. I like S30V still. <laughs> but that's what happens, you know. <laughs> VG10, remember? Great steel! Once you get S30V, wow, super steel! Now, of course, we got S S90V, S35VN, and, of course, Spyderco's been introducing S110V steel and production knives. But man, I love it. It's classy, it flips great, it's a wonderful carry. The reason I walked out, a uh, three point, uh, three inch blade, but a nice thick blade with the top swedge, it's a wonderful flipper. The reason I got up, went to my case and pulled it out is, I was looking at the mid and i'm gonna do a video just like i did when the first catalog came i'm gonna do a mid-year catalog video where i bring out the makers that are doing the new knives and we talk about what we expect to come because i told you 2016 is going to be a mega spydeco year but peter carey is hooking up with spydeco for two new knives in 2016. First, it's the less expensive version of this. It's actually called the Spydeco Rubicon 2. And what it is is it won't be 3D because remember that costs a lot, especially to retool for the production. It won't be the 3D molded carbon fiber. It'll be carbon fiber on top of G10, carbon fiber on top of G10, flat, that just saves cost. It'll be a flat orange backspacer because some people didn't like the texture. I like the texture, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, same steel, but you know, it'll be flat. I like it too, I can't wait for it to come out. Not because it'll be cheaper, but it is flatter. I love to carry this knife. I love the knife. I love to show it off, but 
you know, that texture, it does get fat in your pocket. The second knife, though, folks, <laughs> the second new knife is going to be a beast. It's called the Magnitude. You know why? 3.5 inch blade, 8.2 inches um, long. And guess what? <laughs> so it's a biggie. And guess what the Magnitude has? You betcha. 3D carbon fiber like this, a custom pivot like this, except it, it's circled in brown. Same kind of uh, shapes, a little bit different shape, a little bit different, but you can tell it's Peter Carey. So this is brown around here. They have a backspacer. It's, it is textured again, but it's brown as well. The clip looked the same. Bigger flipping like a dream i can't wait to see it the magnitude so get ready for two more peter carey collaborations and believe you me i'm gonna get them i can't wait hey you guys thanks again for watching don't forget to thumb this up if you enjoy the video uh don't forget also to join subscribe subscribe we're getting close to our goal of 500 I really appreciate all of you. Thank you for giving me so much of your time. Thank you very much. I understand how valuable time is. I really do. And I appreciate you giving me so much of yours. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. It's just plain fun. Goodbye.